They've been given a bad rap, you know, in history. I mean, think about it. Pirates uh, use uh, skull and crossbones, uh, right? You know, it's a symbol on bottles of poison. Uh, the Nazis used uh, the form of a skull in the Second World War, the uh, SS troops. And uh, it's a terrible thing because, I mean, think about it that the Creator gave us this template, this sacred template that houses our brain and our psychic centers. And, uh, it's like a, um, a sacred chalice that we've been given. And this shape is the symbol of our humanity. You know, we, our skull is not shaped like a horse or a cow or a bird or any other life form on this planet. The Creator intentionally gave us this shape of a skull. And the skull of ours is a template. It, it gathers uh, the universal life force, the life, the divine life. It organizes it in such a way to give us the consciousness that we have as humans. It's a very, very sacred template. It's, it's all uh, sacred geometry. And sometimes it's really fascinating to me to think about the fact uh, if we say that there are four root races on this planet, okay, we've got the white, the brown, the red, and the black. And then if you think about the skull shape of each of the root races, that they're slightly different, you know? The oriental race is more very uh, straight, you know, this way. Uh, the black uh, is kind of more uh, sloped more uh, elongated. Each, each of the uh, root races so has a slightly different template. And that's why each of the root races think just a little bit differently. You know? They have a, a little bit different energy, a little bit different understanding of life. Uh, but think about it. On the medicine wheel here, we have to have four directions in order to create balance. And so no uh, one of the root races is any more important than uh, any of the others. We need all of the perceptions in order to form the whole picture. And so when you take a crystal and you form it into the, our divine template, the shape of a crystal skull, um, and the ancients uh, knew this, the ancient ones worked with this, you know, there are very ancient crystal skulls on this planet. All over the world, they've been found. And uh, it's part of a vast technology of communication and of life. And you, when you consider the qualities of quartz, that it is the basis of the whole computer uh, industry of communication, right? It receives information. It stores information, it uh, transmits information, and it amplifies as well. So the crystal skulls can help us uh, a great deal uh, to focus the energy for us, to be um, like telephones <laughs> between the various uh, dimensions of consciousness. And, uh, again, the ancient ones understood that's why they make crystal skulls. Uh, supposedly, uh, many crystal skulls have uh, interdimensional, interplanetary connections. Some people even feel like they were brought here by people from other planets. And it's very possible. Um, and I've had um, such experiences myself with uh, other 